Hi, this is Bart Poulton, and this video is a walkthrough for Zed Shaw's course, Learn Python the Hard Way. And uh, in it, we're going to be taking a look at one of his appendix materials, that's called the Command Line Crash Course. Now, if you go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, and you click on this branch over here, that's the index, and if you click on that, it'll actually take you to this page. And we're going to the bottom to Appendix A Command Line Crash Course. If you click on that, it takes you right here, and we are going to number seven, exercise seven, which is remove directory. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. It's a pretty short lesson, and it builds on some of the stuff that we've done earlier. Um, what we're going to do here, let me uh, just get myself back to the beginning to where I should be. There we go. By doing CD and nothing else, it takes me back to my root directory. So now I'm back in uh, the tilde means the root directory. BP is the name of the computer, colon, and then the active directory, tilde for the for the home directory for, you know, for BART. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow Zed's instructions that he has over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my temp folder. By the way, I do have the, the finder, that's the Mac GUI interface for the same stuff now in here. This is my home folder, my root folder, BART. And you see I've got my folder here called temp. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go CD temp. So now I'm in temp, and Zed says to do LS for list the files. And I've got two things in there. You see it says I've got more stuff, and I've got stuff. It lists them alphabetically, and there they are, right there, more stuff, and then stuff. And then it's going to have me uh, jump way down into the uh, file hierarchy. So I'm going to go CD for change directory, stuff slash things slash Frank slash Joe slash Alex slash John. Okay, I type all that in. And now you can see that my active directory is John, because I'm going all the way to the end of that one. And down here, that means I went to stuff, to things, to Frank, to Joe, to Alex, to John. And there's nothing in John, so there's nothing else there to list. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back up just one step. I'm going to go CD and then space and then dot dot to back up one step to Alex. And you see it says Alex right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in our new command, which is RMDIR. That's for remove directory or to throw away a folder. So I'm going to do RMDIR, remove directory, throw away a folder, the space. And then um, if I'm doing a folder that is in the currently active folder or directory, all I have to do is type the name of it like that. Otherwise, I'd have to specify a path and it gets a little more complicated. But I'm just going to type that and hit return. And look. John just disappeared. It's gone. And you can watch what happens now. I'm going to, uh, let's see here. Now I'm going to remove, now I'm going to back up one more. Now I'm in Joe, and I'm going to remove the directory Alex. So notice that Alex is here right now. As soon as I hit return, oh, it's gone. I'm going to go back up a little bit. Now I'm in Frank. Let's scroll back to Frank. There's Frank right there. And um, let's see here. So we're got Alex. Oh, let's just take a, a quick look. I'm doing LS for list files. And you see that we have Joe. That's the directory that is within my current directory, Frank. And I'm going to remove Joe. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to use the up arrow because that lets me bring up the previous commands. So I, I hit it a few times and I got up to remove directory for Alex. And I'll just type in um, Joe. And Joe disappears. Let's back up again. Let's see here. LS, we've got Frank now. And I'm going to back up a tad more so I can remove Frank. Remove directory. Frank. Oops. I made a mistake because I am in things. I went too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do CD. I'm going to get back up to where I need to be, which is things. But one way to do it, I can type in things right here. But it's also neat to know that you can just drag in an address like that. OK, now I'm in things. And now I can remove, let's, let's just see, list. Yep, Frank is in things, and now I can do RM, 
by the way, the ls is for list the directories of the files, rmdir for remove directory. Now I can do frank. Frank disappears. And then we back up again, following Zed's instructions. Now I am in the folder stuff. Let's see here, we removed Frank. Let's take a quick look and list what's in there. Things is what's in there. So stuff right here is the current active directory. You see, if I do PWD, that says print working directory, you see that it's stuff. So that's the one that we're looking at right now. That's where we're focused on that one. And I'm going to do RMDIR, remove directory, uh, back up, things. And when I do that, things disappears. And by the way, if I do ls now, you see it doesn't list anything at all because there's nothing in the directory. So I'm going to back up one more. And uh, I'm sorry, I didn't do that right. I got to add another period. So I just did the up arrow to get back to where I was. And there we go. And now you can see um, right here that I'm in my temp folder. And just to make that clear, I'm going to do pwd print working directory. I'm in temp. And now I'm going to remove stuff. By the way, temp is right here. So there's stuff. So let's go R-M-D-I-R stuff. That disappears. Now more stuff is still there because I left it there. Um, let's, in fact, let's remove that one so you can see something works slightly differently. So I hit the up arrow to go to that most recent command. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to back up a little bit. Because more stuff is two words with a space in between, I have to put it in quotes. So there's more stuff. And remember, capitalization has to be exact. I do it like this, more stuff. And now that one's gone. And let's do a little print working directory. And we are in temp. And that is as far as we need to go in this particular exercise. Thanks for watching.